Carl Gustav Peter Hempel January 8, 1905 to November 9, 1997 was a German writer and philosopher. He was a major figure in logical empiricism, a 20th century movement in the philosophy of science. He is especially well known for his articulation of the deductive nomological model of scientific explanation, which was considered the standard model of scientific explanation during the 1950s and 1960s. He is also known for the Raven Paradox also known as Hempel's Paradox. Biography <inaudible> 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 Hempel studied mathematics, physics and philosophy at the University of Göttingen and subsequently at the University of Berlin and the Heidelberg University. In Göttingen, he encountered David Hilbert and was impressed by his program attempting to base all mathematics on solid logical foundations derived from a limited number of axioms. After moving to Berlin, Hempel participated in a Congress on Scientific Philosophy in 1929 where he met Rudolf Carnap and became involved in the Berlin Circle of Philosophers associated with the Vienna Circle. In 1934, he received his doctoral degree from the University of Berlin with a dissertation on probability theory, titled Beatridge zur Logischen Analyse des Wahrscheinlichkeitsbegriffs Contributions to the Logical Analysis of the Concept of Probability. Hans Reichenbach was Hempel's main doctoral supervisor, but after Reichenbach lost his philosophy chair in Berlin in 1933, Wolfgang Kohler and Nikolai Hartmann became the official supervisors. Within a year of completing his doctorate, the increasingly repressive and anti Semitic Nazi regime in Germany had prompted Hempel to emigrate, his wife was of Jewish ancestry, to Belgium. In this, he was aided by the scientist Paul Oppenheim, with whom he co-authored the book Der Typusbegriff im Licht der Neuen Logik on Typology and Logic in 1936. In 1937, Hempel emigrated to the United States, where he accepted a position as Carnap's assistant at the University of Chicago. He later held positions at the City College of New York 1939 Yale University 1948 and Princeton University, where he taught alongside Thomas Kuhn and remained until made emeritus in 1973. Between 1974 and 1976, he was an emeritus at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem before becoming University Professor of Philosophy at the University of Pittsburgh in 1977 and teaching there until 1985. In 1989 the Department of Philosophy at Princeton University renamed its three lecture series the Carl G. Hempel Lectures in his honor. Hempel never embraced the term logical positivism as an accurate description of the Vienna Circle and Berlin Group, preferring to describe those philosophers, and himself, as logical empiricists. He believed that the term positivism, with its roots in Auguste Comte, invoked a materialist metaphysics that empiricists need not embrace. He regarded Ludwig Wittgenstein as a philosopher with a genius for stating philosophical insights in striking and memorable language, but believed that he or, at least, the Wittgenstein of the Tractatus made claims that could only be supported by recourse to metaphysics. To Hempel, metaphysics involved claims to know things which were not knowable, that is, metaphysical hypotheses were incapable of confirmation or disconfirmation by evidence. Topic. Legacy. In 2005, the city of Oranienburg, Hempel's birthplace, renamed one of its streets, Karl Gustav Hempel, Strasse, in his memory. Bibliography Principal works 1936. Über den Gehalt von Wahrscheinlichkeitsaussagen and, with Paul Oppenheim, Der Typusbegriff im Licht der Neuen Logik. 1942, The Function of General Laws in History 1943, Studies in the Logic of Confirmation 1959, The Logic of Functional Analysis 1965, Aspects of Scientific Explanation 1966, Philosophy of Natural Science 1967, Scientific Explanation Topic. Essay collections 
Aspects of Scientific Explanation and Other Essays 1965, ISBN 0-02-914340-3. Selected Philosophical Essays 2000, ISBN 0-521-62475-4. The Philosophy of Carl G. Hempel, Studies in Science, Explanation, and Rationality 2001, ISBN 0-19-512136-8. Topic. Articles On the Nature of Mathematical Truth and Geometry and Empirical Science 1945, American Mathematical Monthly, Issue 52. Articles in Readings in Philosophical Analysis pp. 222-249, edited by Herbert Feigl and Wilfred Sellers Appleton Century Crofts, Inc., 1949. Topic. See also Hempel's Dilemma Raven Paradox, also known as Hempel's Paradox Topic. References Topic. Further reading Holt, Jim. Positive Thinking Review of Carl Sigmund, Exact Thinking in Demented Times, The Vienna Circle and the Epic Quest for the Foundations of Science, Basic Books, 449 pp, The New York Review of Books, Vol. 64, No. 20 the 21st of December 2017, pp. 74-76. External links Carl Gustav Hempel at the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Problems and Changes in the Empiricist Criterion of Meaning, by Carl G. Hempel. Obituary by the Princeton University Office of Communications. Carl Gustav Hempel Papers, 1903 to 1997.1999.01 at the Archives of Scientific Philosophy, Special Collections Department, University of Pittsburgh. Obituary in the New York Times